Dune is the new sci-fi epic by Denis Villeneuve, and it was pretty good. I haven't read the book, and I haven't seen the David Lynch film, so I had no clue what to expect going into this. And for the most part, I was pleasantly surprised. From a visual standpoint, the film is marvelous to look at. Villeneuve and DP Greg Frazier fully embrace the desolation and grit the story sets itself in, and makes every shot a joy to see. I've talked before in videos about poster shots in movies, scenes that you can pause and screen cap that would look good on a wall. This movie movie is 90% poster shots. The cinematography is gorgeous, and the score by Hans Zimmer is bombastic and adds a grand scope to the film. Honestly, it was smart of them to specify at the beginning that this was part one of presumably a two-part story, because if there is one major issue I had with the film is that it's a whole lot of setup and not much payoff. The film takes its time establishing this world and these characters and how everything works with the politics and the ruling classes, which is welcome in a story this dense, but this does does result in a lot of heavy exposition and scenes that just kind of meander. I did check my phone a couple times thinking this should be wrapping up soon and turns out there's still another 45 minutes left. There are also several characters that aren't given much screen time or development. Zendaya's character isn't introduced until the last 20 minutes and the villains are just kind of there to be imposing while not really doing much else. Ultimately, this movie solely depends on whether or not a second movie will get made, which at the time of recording has not been formally announced yet. If it does happen, awesome. This was a really strong start and I'm curious to see how it's followed up on. If it doesn't happen, which isn't out of the realm of possibility considering Warner Brothers track record, then this will simply be a beautifully shot waste of time. Judging the film on its own though, it was very well made, it was visually stunning, solidly written, and had a stellar cast. Please, for the love of God, if you are going to see it this week, make sure it's in a theater on the biggest screen possible. I'm giving it a 4 out of 5 in the hope that part 2 gets announced sometime in the next couple of days.